Hey guys, it's Richard with uh, part two of the video um, on how to create your in silico drug discovery pipeline. So, um, in the last video, we cleaned up our CSV file that we got from the ChemBL database. Um, and now we want to start uh, building our pipeline and we want to go to the next step, and I'll be talking about what that is. So, we'll close these for now. So, um, we want to build our pipeline, right? So um, to run multiple Python files in sequence, we need to create a bash file. So we've created this, we're going to create a bash file and you can run it from your terminal by simply, okay, I don't have a terminal open. You simply type in bash and you will type in your file.sh. That's the file extension and that's the command to run it, bash. So we'll call it um, we'll call it pipeline dot sh and we'll save it now our last file was called um, hold on just a sec our last file was called csv cleaner dot py so it's as if I'm typing bash is as, as if I'm typing in my command line so I will type uh, first of all, to declare that it's a bash file, I will do this. And then, I will type as if I'm typing in the command line, in the terminal. I will say python3 csv cleaner cleaner.py and it will run the file um, when we execute the bash script. So, that's our first step in the pipeline. We clean up our csv file, the one we get from Campbell. Uh, and now we need to um, process, uh, we need to make our ligands into a format where we can dock them using autodock, which will be in future videos. So we need to convert them to a format called PDB. Now to convert ligands to PDB, we need to use a program called OpenBabel. And uh, OpenBabel, so to install it, you can Google this, but basically I think you do sudo apt get install and then open babel and uh, yeah so I already had it but you can just type in this command and it should get it for you so um, so we have our first step of the pipeline now we'll create a new file uh, actually I think I already created it but I haven't written anything in it I have a smile converter file so um, we want to um, convert smiles basically to we want to convert them to PDB format which is then converted to PDB QT and then we convert it to uh, and then we dock it with our receptor so we need to extract our smiles from the um, from the CSV file that we created which was called curated ligand list.csv and we need to we can do that with python so if you feel more comfortable doing it with python you can follow the last video and you can recode it for your own purposes and extract them through this way i want to try it through bash today so um, i'll be opening um, let me just check i had a stack exchange open so we we'll do this, copy that, and paste it here. So most of most code is uh, you know it's from uh, Stack Exchange. So it's the number one resource for anything. So we'll do while ifs. So it's the input um, separator, input file separator. So our ifs, our delimiter, was tab as we saw in the last video. Then we'll read column one, column two. I guess uh, this will be our ligand and then the second column in our file was the smile so I guess we'll take column one column two and then we can echo um, we can just echo column two and we'll for our input we'll do curated ligand list.csv now we'll go to the terminal and we'll type in so we have to navigate to our directory cd to desktop, so cd means change directory, then I go to desktop and then um, I will go to temp 
and I, by pressing tab it fills it out if I write the first couple of letters and I'm here ls will list all the files so I'll do bash smile convert and again I can press tab and it fills it okay so it prints a bunch of smiles it prints them all let's see what it would print here okay so it's printing the whole row okay now if we do call 2 it's still printing the whole row okay so it seems like it's not separating okay maybe I'm doing this wrong okay so let's try this this is what people seem to be doing so we have four columns there we go so very tricky stupid problem but we got it and now if we run oh, our next command we can delete our so echo prints to the terminal okay canonical smiles contain a character which was not good for this okay zero molecules converted hmm okay so that was just the first smile that had a problem so now it's going to take a very long time and it'll run and it'll keep converting all of the um, all the molecules basically uh, there's a lot as you can see there's if we look at the file there is probably around 800 900 as you can see, you can have some empty molecules. So Open Babel will have trouble with that. Um, so what we can do is if um, and we do a comparison, we check if column two is not equal to empty. So just brackets. Um, I think it's then do this and then after that it's phi so we can try to restart it okay so that's a problem still having a problem column two so we're trying we can maybe write it like this still a problem line five command not found I don't want to do a okay let's do if okay so there's no semicolon so we'll just do this so another thing that's important in bash is the spacing and I think the brackets yeah so we need to have a bracket here delete that okay so this should work that's not good. Oh, okay. So we need to make sure it doesn't equal that. So it should start working now. And this is going to run for a um, couple of hours. So you can leave your computer to run. And as you can see, one molecule converted takes around 10 seconds. So uh, that was the PEB conversion, guys. Um, the last thing to do is, so we make our directory PDB. We ran our CSV cleaner. Now to our pipeline, we can add bash, smile, 
convert dot sh and that's it um, you can do it with a command line argument so here you could do um, instead of curated ligand list you could do dollar sign one instead of that and you could also run it like this curated ligand list dot csv so it'll take the first it'll take w this input so this is the first argument and it'll use it to run this whole thing so um, yeah it, this runs um, and it takes all the smile structures converts them to so the important thing is to have this gen 3d tag at the end so you can have a 3d structure because you want to be able to dock it um, with your receptor thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next part guys